of science, but they're not scientists. So it doesn't make sense where you have to be in the right place at the right time with the right conversations. Because in 2011, if we, if we backtrack, and I'll just tell you right now, in 2011, if you, if you respected someone enough, and they were educated enough to tell you to be at the right place at the right time, and they said, look, just put 100 pound in Bitcoin. What's 100 pound gonna do for you? It's only 10 cents per coin, but if you had 100 Bitcoins, you would have had 100, so you would have had 10 Bitcoins. Does that make sense? 100 pound, 10 Bitcoins in 2011. Even if you had invested it, would you agree? There's some people here today, you, you, know, you have a hundred pound worth of mistakes in your wardrobe, yes or yes? <laughs> you have belts you don't wear no more, shoes you don't look at no more, nights out you don't want to think about no more. <laughs> so we understand that money's going anyways. But if you invested a hundred pound today, you know what you would've had? You would've had 300,000. You could've had 200,000. How many of you would like 200,000 from a hundred pound? Anyone know where, anywhere else we can put that? You can make that money? See, everyone put their hand up for Bitcoin, knowing about Bitcoin now, but in 2011, you would not know. But if someone told you somewhere about it, that's how you would know, because you, you don't know what you don't know. At 20 years old, when I started the industry, guess who I told the first person? That's the first person I told about it? My mom. You know, she's the first person I saw. I said, mom, I found out about business. I want to be rich. One day I'm going to buy driving a Mercedes. I'm going to take you out. If I say, you're not going to be working no more. He said, go and do your studies. You got exams coming up. <laughs> I said, mom, but I found out about business. What are you gonna do? You got, you got to sell these services. You can build a team. I didn't even have to be qualified. They didn't even check my CRB. <laughs> like I could have been, I could have had any track record and they didn't even have to care about it. All, they have to, all you have to do is fill out an enrollment form, pay a fee and I'm in. And then I can build a business. She said, okay, wait, let me call your dad. <laughs> My dad came and said to me, Zayn, is it an American company? I said, yes, it's an American company. He said, get your money back right now. Because <laughs> those things never work. But fast forward four years later, if you were to go to my parents' house, they wouldn't speak about my older sister who got a law degree and got a master's. They would say, do you guys know what my son is doing? <laughs> and then my dad would always come to me and he would say, Zayn, see, I told you so. <laughs> Mom would be like, Zane, you made a good choice. We've raised you the right way. <laughs> I want to let you guys know, some, 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 some wait, some watch, and some just do it. See, my mom couldn't tell me about business because she worked in Asda for 20 years as a bakery assistant. My dad's a chauffeur, so you can't tell me about business. They can only tell you what you know. Everyone around you right now, if they're not wealthy, you're not getting wealth coaching. Does that make sense? You can't, learn from, you can't learn about football from someone who's playing semi-pro. You can't. It's not physically possible because you don't want to be playing semi-pro. You don't want to be playing what? Pro. So I'm here to tell you right now, you don't have just me. You have people in this company, in this industry, that are making millions that have already made it in different companies who are telling you, look, IML is the way. So I'm going to tell you what happened for me. In the first month of starting IML, here's what I did. I just focused on a demo account. Everyone say demo. Demo. So demo is not real money, virtual money, not my money. So when I lose, it's fine. When I win, it's not fine. <laughs> but you still don't make that money, does that make sense? So for me, my focus was if I can still make money on a demo, it's like if I had the real money, it would be the same result. Does that make sense? Same exact result. So here's what happened. My first month, I started on a 5K demo account. The 5K grew to 6K over a course of a month. All I knew how to use was swipe trades. Cause I was like, I ain't gonna do my own trades. Even on a demo, I was scared, right? Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose money. You know what I I wanna make sure I make something good out of this in my first month. So what I was doing is, you know, you get about, you get about four or five trades per day on the swipe trades. So I was just, I was just plugging them in and hoping for the best. Some loss, some wins, and overall, I made, six, you know, I made one grand from five grand. So would you guys agree? Anyone agree that twenty percent increase is good? You know, if I was to give you five grand right now. You know, and I read about, and uh, David told me, saying, you know, when I had Chairman 50, that's 1.9K a day as a Chairman 50. So if I was to take out my three-day check, and I was to give it to you, what, where would you invest that money? I told you, you had to invest. Where would you invest that? Because you couldn't buy a house. You couldn't even cover the depot. You probably couldn't even cover the lawyers for the depot. Does that make sense? Especially in London. When I was in Leicester, I could have said the same thing. But... Where else could you invest it? Oh yeah, yeah, my mom would say, yeah, you can, you can buy gold though. <laughs> How much value does gold go up by 20%? Not even 20 years it'll go up by that much. 
Does that make sense? So you can't invest that kind of money and hope for it. And some of you are like, well, what if I lose my 170? That's a big investment. <laughs> I'm talking about five grand, you don't know what to invest five grand. So when they told me you have to invest 170 pounds, and I forget about me making money. If I just put 170 pounds a month and I'm just learning, that's cheap, because I've been to uni. And what's guaranteed after uni? Debt. Yes. No a degree. It's debt. Right? But we still go. Because why? Someone else went and they told us to go. And someone else went and told them to go. And someone else told them. And they said, look, if you go to uni, You've upped your chances for a job. How many of you guys have heard that before? Let me tell you the number one employer for universities. And I've been to uni, so I don't discredit. This is fact. Number one employer for university today is McDonald's. <laughs> number two, Burger King. Why? Because McDonald's have 34,000 franchises. So anyone that needs a job ASAP takes an average student that comes out of graduation, regardless of first class, second class, third class, takes an average of six months just to get in to the job that they want. Guess what? 48% of people that graduate don't even go into the field they wanted to graduate in to go into that field. They change their mind. How many of you guys have seen third year, final year? Oh yeah, I'm on my final year, but I didn't really want to go into media. I'm just wrapping it up. You wrapping up 27K? <laughs> that's expensive, that's, ex that's an expensive wrap. Does that make sense? So it's expensive stuff. So this world today, if you don't move, it will move you. If you don't go with times, you'll be timed out. It's the truth. Today, technology is evolving in a way where some of you guys can't even take your hands off your phone when I'm speaking. Does that make sense? Some one guy's putting his phone. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm not your lecturer. I'm not your teacher. Bro. I'm not going to send you out the class. Would you guys agree today that we can't take it? Look, we get one notification. It could be it could be a nobody, but we're still going to check our phone. Why? Because our phones run our life today. What's the first thing you touch when you wake up? What's the last thing you touch before you go to sleep? Some of us are married and that's the same case for everyone. <laughs> Again, my wife would kill me, so don't tell her. Does that make sense? So you guys agree that if you're touching your phone all, the, all day, and you're spending four hours a day average fact on your phone every day, four hours a day, but all you're doing is you're, you're looking at the Kardashians, or you're scrolling for Facebook timelines, Right? Is that making you any kind of profit going into the times? Guess who you're making profit? Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook. Guess who you're making profit? Them two guys who started Snapchat. Anyone know the story of Snapchat? The two 20 year olds that started Snapchat, before they started Snapchat, they couldn't even make it on the App Store. Because every regulation on the App Store, Apple, Android, they were saying, why would you want to have Snapchat you take pictures and it gets deleted in 10 seconds. We don't want that stuff. We got Facebook, we got Instagram. They went to Facebook for a deal. Facebook said, hell no, we don't need that. You know, we got Instagram, we own Instagram. Then it started to make its more presence. It started to make more presence on the app store. They got finally got on there. And a little girl who had a rich daddy, her daddy asked her, hey, you know, I'm just gonna make up a name, but I don't remember the name. Hey, Emily, right? Emily, what apps are you using today? Emily said, hey daddy, I'm using Instagram, I'm using Facebook, and I'm using Snapchat. And the dad's like, Snapchat? How can you use that in the same bracket as Facebook and Instagram? And he immediately got in touch with the owners of Snapchat. He's a, well, a multi-millionaire. He got in touch with it. He's, and guess how he got in touch with them? Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically. Got in touch with the owners, sat down with the owners and said, look, I want to invest some money into your product, into your app, because I believe it's going to be the next big thing. He invested 500,000 into Snapchat. 500,000 to get it more out there. One year later, Snapchat was worth $1 billion. Guess who came? Facebook. Facebook, Facebook said, look, you guys are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in this product. Does that make sense? We're gonna offer you two billion. Now let's be real. Bro, what's your name? Ali. Now let's say Ali. Me and Ali, we're 20, you know, we're in our 20s, right? And Facebook commented and said, Ali, you're going to get one billion. Zane, you're going to get one billion. Now, I don't know about Ali, but I'm out of it. <laughs> I got my one billion. I'm a billionaire. Would you agree? I know Facebook's going to take care of Snapchat. I know they are. I know they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna up, they're gonna up the value. They're going to do what they need to do. And they're going to make the features great. Me and Ali are done with one billion. Would you agree that's a, that's a, good, that's a good, you know, good year of work? Does that make sense? You know what me and Ali said? No. 
Because why? We got big visions for this country. We got big visions of what we're going to do in our career. One year later, another year goes by. Snapchat was worth $10 billion. Went out by 10x in one year. Guess who came back? Facebook. <laughs> Look, we love what you guys are doing. <laughs> Ali, 10 billion. Zane, 10 billion. I don't know about Ali again, but <laughs> my generations are set. I can start any business and not even care about how it goes. Does that make sense? <laughs> 10 billion. There's only limited people that have, you know, 10 billion, right? You'll be with the Bill Gates and Warren Buffett of the world. They said, no, we've got big visions. Today, after three to five years of being out there, Snapchat, Snapchat today is worth 45 billion. You gotta see it when it's not there. Does that mean vision is what? Vision is seeing the unseen. Would you agree, before you came into this hotel today, you can see the structure, you can see the lighting, but when Double Tree Victoria was made, before it was made, when it wasn't made, someone saw it. Does that make sense? Someone saw the structure of this whole place and said it's gonna look like this. And they made it happen. I want you guys to know, when I saw this business 12 months ago, it's gonna be 12 months in May, when I saw this business for the first time, I didn't think it's gonna be like this. If you told me one year later, I'm gonna be a chairman 50, speaking to a bunch of people about trading, when I didn't know squat about Forex, would you guys agree? I would think it's too good to be true. If you had told me that one year ago, I would have thought it's too good to be true. And some of you guys are sitting there looking at me, you know, he can do it, but, but I think it's too good to be true. Would you guys agree? My mentor told me, Zane, how old are you right now? I said, I'm 24 years old. I said, if you were to go another 10 years working, would you agree you don't have any retirement plans? <coughs> Does anyone know anyone retired at 34? Doesn't happen. Some people retire early at 50. They're retiring early at 50. See, he said, you're gonna work the rest of your life Anyways, if you don't start a business, yes or yes, this is fact. Every millionaire today has a business. They have time, money, and leverage. The wealthiest people in the world today. He said, if you're gonna work the rest of your life anyways, why are you, why are you so concerned about being, you know, it being too good to be true? If you're gonna work till 65 anyways, doesn't, that, doesn't that sound too bad to be true? <laughs> Does that make sense? So for me, all I wanted to do was find out how deep the, deep the water is by jumping in. See, there's two, two types of people. One will look at the water and say, that looks deep. When it's scientifically not possible to establish whether the water is deep just by looking at it. Does that make sense? You can't. I oh, might say, yeah, 2.5 meters on the side, but you really don't know how, uh, how much 2.5 meters until you jump in. To know how deep, if you can swim or not. So for me, all I wanted to do was find out if, if I can swim in this water or not. And fast forward 12 months online, we now have more than 45 platinum 1000s. And that impresses me so much more than my own personal rank. There's 45 people in our team in Global Trade Network, as Eli mentioned, all around the world today, who are making a thousand a month. Guess what? Because I said yes. Someone needs to say yes somewhere for something to happen, even in your life. Someone had to say yes to you in the HR department in your job today. If they never say yes, you won't be in that job. Your parents had to say yes because you were born. God had to say yes, so the world was created. Someone said yes somewhere where you're making your fortune from. So I'm here to tell you right now, you might, not be, you might be thinking about yourself right now, but let me tell you one thing. Today, IMO today has 70,000 customers. Luton, you know Luton? The town Luton? Yeah. Yeah. 1.2 million people in Luton alone. Forget about London. London's 13 million. UK, 65 million. US is bigger than Europe combined. And we haven't scratched the surface with this company. So I'm here to tell you right now, some people will look at this and they won't start. And here's what will happen. One year down the line, IMO will be here. With or without you, they're gonna grow. They're gonna grow. And then you're gonna hear about, it. you're gonna come to one of these meetings again years later, you're gonna say to your friend, hey, but I came here a year later. You came here a year later, I just joined six months ago. You came here a year later, you didn't join. There's gonna be a story today of a new Platinum 5000 that's gonna come up. He messaged me way before he actually got started. And he said, Zane, the biggest regret I have today is imagine where I would be if I joined three months before I started now that I'm P5K. That, those three months are what? 
they might not be as valuable in your uni degree or might not be as valuable in your job because it just go by so quick. But in business, in this atmosphere, three months can make you a whole load of a different rank. I guarantee you will be chairman rank. So I'm here to tell you right now, that's my part. Just letting you guys know, look, I don't want to speak to you guys on the content because Junior and Ivan have already done that. I just want to let you guys know, what do you lose by not coming? And what do you lose by coming? Does that make sense? If you come into this business, what do you lose? 170 pounds? That I know for sure, every single person here can make back in multiple ways. Five pound a day in trading is more than your membership fee. Five pound a day. Not a lot of money. Does that make sense? Five pound, if people make five pound a day in our team without even knowing how to do it. They don't even know. They're like, oh, bro, I made five pounds. Because that's how trading is, especially with cryptocurrency today. I want to let you guys know. Forex is not 5.3 trillion a day now. Because of cryptocurrency, and now you can people trade more with Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin and Ripplecoin and Dashcoin more than the actual normal currencies like Euro, USD, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar. They trade more on that. So the volunteer is, guess how much Forex is worth now? More than 9 trillion a day today. That is money that you're missing out on. Many of us today, including me today, we wouldn't be sitting in this room if you knew about Bitcoin in 2013. Just five years ago. You know, I was speaking to my nan yesterday, my nan said to me, Zane, you know when I was born, I couldn't fly back home because there was no planes. The first plane was invented 64 years ago. We, got, we think it's been around, like we, EasyJ, yeah, 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 Ryanair, yeah, yeah, Virgin, no. It wasn't even around when my nan was, my nan is 70 years old. So would you agree, times have changed real quick. You couldn't take a selfie in the year 2000. <laughs> you couldn't. Now, you don't, even want to, you don't even want to eat your dinner before you take a selfie of it. <laughs> Does that make sense? My mom hates it. So I understand one thing. If technology is evolving, but you're, you're still here and go to uni, go and get a job, hopefully you will land CEO by the time you're 40, and by 60 you'll be retired at a decent wage. It will never be decent, because it'd have to be 40% of your actual wage, you'd have to be making a lot of money to be making 40%. Because I know when it comes to tax, 40% is a lot of money. Does that mean if you're making a lot of money? So I want you guys to understand one thing. Again, what do you get when you come in? And what do you lose out on if you don't? If you're right now and you're sitting here, I'm content with my life. I'm making all the money that I need to make. I'm comfortable with what I'm making. I don't want any plan B, C, D, I don't want no second, third, fourth, five, fifth street. Because one thing is for sure, the reason why you're here is because someone told you there's a business opportunity and you thought to yourself, I want to change my life in one, two, three ways, whether it's more traveling, whether it's a different car, whether it's a different house, whether it's coming out of a relationship, whether it's going into a relationship, whether it's, you know, whether it's finding a new job, whether it's finding it, whether it's making the money from IML to start my own business, whether it's the gym, wherever it might be, whether it's want to buy more time, wherever it might be, it can happen through IML. So I just want to leave on that note. I want to hand it back to, 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 to all the, the all the presenters again. They've done a great job. And I want to, I want to bring up all the P5Ks um, to the stage so we can recognize all the new achievements that we have and then close off the evening. So let's have all the P5Ks and above up on stage. So the P5Ks and the Chairman 10s up on stage so we can just recognize um, our final bit of the day. So let's give them all a round of applause.